Um, welcome to the Coastal Wine Review. I'm Yosho Worth here with George, who is the um, East Coast representative and educator for many of the great sakis of the world. Um, we're here live, and we are going to overview some. Uh, uh, go ahead, sir. It's live. Walk oh. on through. Uh, this is the Shochikubai Niguri Saki, the unfiltered from Berkeley, California. And um, this is their magnum size of it, so uh, we're not going to drink the whole thing today. <laughs> George, you want to drink the whole thing today? Uh, maybe, maybe later. You know. Okay, fine. Right, right, right. Off camera. Um, please tell us a little bit why it's called Silky Mild, why unfiltered is different from filtered, and just give us a little something to celebrate about about this particular sure. bottle. Um, so once again, this is from Takara. The brand is called Shochikubai. Uh, it's a Nigori style sake. Nigori simply means it's slightly muddled or cloudy. You notice that it's uh, kind of a milky inside. That just means that the sake leaves are still intact. Right? So the filtration hasn't gone through such a fine filtration. And we have a lot of the, uh, the yeast and those, the sugar still intact, giving a very big, rich mouthfeel. This is a uh, minus 20 SMV sake meter value. Meaning that it's it's relatively on the on the more dessert sweeter side mm -hmm. of the spectrum, and um, I love having the sake with spicy foods. I think the classic pairing oh. of sweet and spicy goes really well, and especially with this product. Almost um, has like a like a creamy grapefruit kind mm -hmm. of thing going mm -hmm. on. A little bit of yeah, the the acidity, although yeah. it's lactic acid, there's a lot of citric notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And maybe a little bit of coconut. Yeah, the um, like when you're scraping the rind of an inside of a coconut, not mm -hmm. the, not yes, necessarily yes. the coconut juice. Oh, no. Really different, fun. Chaim, to a good Shabbos, a good week, and sake. Uh, mm -hmm. I could see this with you said desserts, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the Neapolitan ice cream? Yes, yes. You see, like Neapolitan ice cream? I could see this with, um, oh, what are the, the, the deep fried ice cream balls? Oh, I see. Uh huh. Because it's got the crust. Right. And you can kind of link it together. Creamy inside. It's definitely got, uh, it's a, definitely a mouth filler. It uh, leaves a nice little coating, rising finish. No heavy alcohol. Yeah, you can walk out. You can't get through any other way. It's fine. We're live. Okay. It's okay. And um, I think people would really enjoy this with uh, all kinds of fun. I mean, this is desserts. You know those flaming with the tiramisu, uh, the, the the mousse that yes. light on fire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That'd be kind of fun because it's got that crustiness uh -huh. to it. Yeah. I've worked with uh, various you know uh, dessert chefs and you know incorporating sakis into like a creme brulee mm -hmm. or uh, yeah the gelato is really. Fun. Oh, gelato yes. sounds good. Yeah. Well, I haven't had that in a long time. Well, Lakayam. So Chico by Takara, this is the Niguri Unfiltered Sake, and uh, we're live with Grapevine Wines. This is the Kosher Wine Review with George.